Daily Wire might have just won the Troll War. They hated Rachel Zegler's Snow White so much that they decided to take matters into their own hands. And guess what? Zegler's not happy about being mocked this way. Well, well, well. Tis a day of celebration for anti-woke crowds all around. Snow White's been replaced by, um, another Snow White. Who would have guessed that there would be so much discussion about Walt Disney's Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs 85 years after it was released? Yup, 85! But it's currently the case because of the Daily Wire's anti-woke adaptation of Snow White and the Evil Queen and Disney's impending live-action remake, officially named Disney's Snow White. The live-action remake has received little praise and a lot of criticism lately. While some fans have embraced the fresh takes on beloved Disney characters like Belle, Simba, and Princess Jasmine, others have grown weary of the studio's almost continual stream of remade tales, or as some might call it, pandering. In the case of this fairy tale, the controversies just keep on piling, mainly with the announcement that the dwarves would be swapped out for magical creatures and the casting of Latina actress Rachel Zegler as the Disney princess. To make things worse, remarks made by Rachel Zegler added fuel to the fire. Stuff about how it's not 1937 anymore and that the Snow White that she and director Mark Webb are presenting is not someone who is looking for true love. I mean, you know, the, the original cartoon came out in 1937 and very evidently so. <laughs> um, there is a big focus on her love story um, with a guy who literally stalks her. <laughs> weird, weird. Yep, true love from someone Zegler characterizes as a prince who stalks her. Due to her remarks and Disney's choice to change up the beloved film, Snow White has been labeled as a woke agenda by certain potential audiences. Naturally, this puts it at risk of failing at the box office. We haven't forgotten what happened to The Little Mermaid, and maybe the media giant didn't either. Disney decided to cancel the 2024 release and push the movie a year later to 2025, giving fans more time to wait for the arrival of Snow White or hoping it all blows over by then. Let's not forget that Disney and other big companies were battling the SAG-AFTRA strike that was sweeping through Hollywood and the rest of the country when they made their decision. Now, The Daily Wire, a conservative news outlet, saw their chance and took it. They said that they would also be releasing a Snow White movie on their new, kid-focused streaming service, Bent Key. Before the trailer dropped, co-CEO of The Daily Wire, Jeremy Boring, said that Snow White is the reason Disney is successful today, adding that the live-action version the firm has decided to release has disregarded its fan base. Other than this, and the fact that it appears to adhere closely to the Brothers Grimm fairy tale, not much is known about Daily Wire's Snow White and the Evil Queen. Well, except for who's giving Rachel a run for her money after replacing her as the princess. Surprise, surprise, it's up to Brett Cooper to bring the role to life. That's right, actress and YouTube sensation Brett Cooper is a part of Daily Wire's Snow White. She has previously made an appearance in the 2012 Hollywood film Parental Guidance, but mainly rose to fame on her YouTube channel, The Comments Section with Brett Cooper. In case you haven't seen, this is where she provides over 4 million followers with comments on social, cultural, and political issues. Oh, and she also starred in the television series Heathers, Shots Fired, and Gordimer Gibbon's Life on Normal Street, as well as the films Bobby and Gill and 500 Fireflies. A teaser was released, giving us the first glimpse of Brett Cooper in the recognizable royal blue dress. In fact, the actress and YouTuber uploaded a video of herself responding to the teaser and formally accepting the role of Snow White. We also announced Bent Key's first live action film, which is Snow White and the Evil Queen. And that's me, I'm Snow White, which is so funny to say. As you can expect, social media is buzzing with comparisons and talks of competition between the two young actresses, with some saying that this feels like Brett mocking Rachel. If you ask us, it was a long time coming. Right-wing media has been creating its own interpretation of Snow White since conservatives began to object to Disney's liberal portrayal of the princess. Co-founder of Daily Wire, Jeremy Boring, refers to it as their own adaptation of an ancient fairy tale. The news was made by Boring during the debut of Daily Wire's new kids' entertainment brand, Bent Key, which aims to compete with Disney Plus at a time when some conservatives are becoming impatient with the legacy studio. In other words, the Daily Wire rendition of Snow White and the Evil Queen will not be allowed to include any parts that were not included in the grim tale, including the Seven Dwarfs. Yep, it's gonna be different. 
we can expect parts that have been changed from the original German fairy tale, and any content that resembles the movie from 1937 could be violating copyright. While some are in favor of a conservative media outlet creating its own version of the character based on market demands, others have called attention to the hypocrisy of right-wing pundits who have shot down films like The Little Mermaid, accusing them of being political propaganda. On the other hand, a huge portion of Disney's fanbase has expressed disapproval of the company over its planned live-action adaptation of the famous story. David Hand, a Disney designer from the 1990s and the son of a director of the first movie, also voiced his disappointment at Disney's decisions. Many of these changes have been deemed insulting by him, and he has expressed disapproval of the drastic plot changes made to the story and characters. Hand even said that the legacy of Disney and the accomplishments made by his father are not being given enough credit. By the way, Ben Shapiro has since acknowledged that the Ben Key production is a direct response to Disney's Snow White. According to him, they got the idea for it literally the day Rachel Zegler did an interview saying that she wanted to rip the guts out of the original Snow White. Yikes! Shapiro also claimed that Disney changed up parts of their movie after hearing Daily Wire were coming up with their rendition. Now, a rumor that Rachel Zegler was enraged upon the announcement of the anti-woke Snow White recently went viral. One of her quotes surfaced stating, mine was better. Is it though? Only time will tell! Daily Wire's Snow White comes out in March 2024, while there's still no news on Disney's. They're coming in strong. Bentkey, which was founded in opposition to Disney and debuted on the 100th anniversary of the Walt Disney Company's creation, intends to invest $100 million in the service over the next three years. This was also in response to the intense backlash after a leaked tape showed corporate execs calling for greater queerness and radical racial messaging in children's content. According to Boring, Disney has abandoned Walt's legacy, even though they still use his name. He believes the company now operates as a political entity. To him, that's a huge loss since Disney owns the largest collection of children's content ever produced. So why then is The Daily Wire making a splash with this Snow White movie? As we said, it all began with Disney's live-action Snow White remake, which sparked a lot of controversy in the context of the race war. Initially, several right-wingers objected to the Latina actress being cast for a role that called for skin as white as snow. Disney then made the bold decision to upend the status quo by transforming the Seven Dwarfs into a varied assortment of magical beings that differed in size and gender. That made more people take notice. Plus, Zegler's remarks stirred the pot herself. As if that weren't enough, she revealed to the world that this Snow White will not be your usual idyllic princess. Well, Brett, for one, isn't interested in Zegler's Snow White. She called it an unnecessary girl boss situation that nobody asked for. Third and fourth wave feminism, they did that. But you know what? A lot of women are tired. A lot of women did not ask for this, just like myself. Well, it seems like Snow White has managed to trap herself in the ire of anti-woke activists on both sides of the Atlantic. Last year, Peter Dinklage, the star of Game of Thrones, called the project a backward story about seven dwarves living in a cave together. He slammed the organization because, despite his incredible screenplay accomplishments, such cliched and condescending stories remain a thing of the present. Since everyone has a different opinion about how the story should or shouldn't be retold, it seems like the Disney princess has already bitten into a poisonous apple. Once Daily Wire's Snow White comes out, you can only expect more comparisons made between Brett and Rachel. So, should we expect more fire? What do you think about Daily Wire's dig at Disney? Let us know in the comments below. And if you think this is where the drama ends, just wait until you see what South Park did to mock the woke Disney remake in this next video.